Hey everyone, so I've got a haul for you today and this is a collective haul from several different places over the course of several different days. Um, I feel like I should start this video by saying that I wish I could have gotten this up sooner. Um, I just found out last night that CVS has been having their twice a year clearance sale where they mark down all the stuff that's going to be discontinued they mark it from 50 to 75 percent off and um, I read about it online last night and as of today it's been going on for a week so there isn't a heck of a lot left but uh, that being said if you go right away you may still find some some deals um, I, I was very fortunate. I was able to find most of the things that I was interested in. And, uh, I'll tell you more, a little more about that later on in the video. Because the way I'm going to do this haul is I'm going to do it in order of the things that I bought. And I'm doing it that way for a reason. So let's just get started. Okay, first of all, I went to Target. And I bought another one of the e.l.f. powder brushes, and this is from the, uh, I think this is from the Studio line. Let's see. Yeah, this is from the Studio line, and it's just like the other one that I got before. These are $3. And the reason why I got another one, that's what it looks like. Really soft, really, really great brush. The reason why I got another one is because these are so thick, so dense, that when I wash it, I deep clean my brushes every single day. When I wash it, um, 24 hours later I go to use it, and it's still not dry yet. So I thought, alright, <laughs> they're cheap enough, I can pick up another one and then just alternate them. Use one one day and use the other the next, because I really love these brushes for my powder products. I use it for loose powder and blush. And then um, I saw the Essie Summer Collection was out. So I got Brazilian, which is the uh, really shocking orange color, but perfect for summer. So I picked up that, and then I went to, like I said, this wasn't all the same day, uh, then I went to Ulta, and every time I've been to Ulta the last few months or so, I always go by that L.A. Splash display and look at the things, and I never end up buying anything. And I was like, I'm going to get some of those products and test them out. So I got the, the L.A. Splash Splash Proof Sealer, Eyeshadow Sealer and Base. And it comes in this tube thing. And it's got like a, a doe foot applicator. <laughs> and um, I have used this, and this is a really terrific eyeshadow base. So even if, even if the eyeshadows don't end up working out, I would definitely repurchase this uh, because this would be really great with pretty much anything so I do like that and then I got a couple of the mineral eyeshadows and it says body and face glitter on the side of them and I got golden smoke and unsolved and the way these packages are designed if I open this up they're gonna go all over the place because I've already taken the little sticker things off the top of them so, I'll show you the bottom. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the colors, but the golden smoke is like a golden black, and then unresolved is purple and uh, purple, pink, and blue, I think. But I did try the golden smoke out, and I used it on my eyelid and it was way too intense of a color to be used as a lid color so that would probably be better as an outer corner color so I ended up taking it off and then instead of starting over again with the other color which I didn't really want to use that day 
Um, I just put it aside and I'll play with these another day. So I'll have to let you know on these. My initial impressions are though that I don't think I'm going to like them. Um, based upon a bunch of different things, but I can't really get into it too much because uh, I've got a bunch of stuff still to show you. Okay, everybody knows that the hot nail polish color for some of this year is going to be Chanel Mimosa, but I don't think I want to spend $25 anymore for one bottle of nail polish because it cuts too much into other stuff that I would like to buy. So I think I found the perfect dupe for Mimosa, and this is from L'Oreal, and it's called Yellow Seahorse. And it looks to me exactly like Mimosa. Now, as I, I don't have Mimosa to hold up side by side, but if you've seen this in the stores, then you know that Mimosa is a bright yellow with shimmer. And that is exactly what this is. So if you don't want to spend $25 for Mimosa and you want that color, then L'Oreal Yellow Seahorse is the way to go. And this is on a, I got it at Ulta, and it was on a display with some other summer colors. So it must be, you know, a L'Oreal summer collection. And I also got Revlon Tangerine. Now this is also a special edition collection. And um, this it's the Summer Romantics collection. Now I've already shown you the light blue and the yellow that I got from that. And this was the other color that was with that. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get the tangerine. Because see the Brazilian, how dark that is? This may look bad on me. <laughs> so this is sort of a just-in-case thing. Uh, I know that I can get away with wearing a lighter shade of any color. So this, this is light, a lot lighter than the Brazilian. So just in case the Brazilian doesn't work out too well. I'll still have an orange that's a little more wearable. Okay, so that's what I got at Ulta. And then at Walgreens, uh, thank you very much to the person who sent me the email the other day about finding the rest of the missing colors from the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure at Walgreens. Um, they had a display up there and they had the colors that were missing from the Target display. Plus they had one other one that, I don't know if, the, if somebody had stuck this on there or if this is just part of the Walgreens display or what, but there was a color that wasn't listed before with those others. I didn't get Strike a Pose because it looks exactly like uh, a lot of other polishes that I already have. So I didn't get Strike a Pose, but I did get Eel Skin, which is uh, light gray. And I got Summer Plum, which is a, a deep plum. And I got Casting Call, which is a beautiful, I'm going to say coral. And this is the one that wasn't listed as part of the collection, but I don't know if this is like a Walgreens exclusive or what, but this is Camellia, and it's a really pretty peach. There's no way I could pass that up. That is just gorgeous. So I got those, and then um, I went over to the regular section where the regular colors are, and I got three Essies. I got... I got Allure, which is a cream, cream color. I got Chinchilli, which is like a, <clears throat> I'm going to say a beige with a hint of purple. Or a grayish beige. It's one of those colors that's kind of tough to pin down, but you've probably seen Chinchilli before because it's not new. It's been out for a while. And I got... Saint Tropez, which is part of the Essie Spring Collection. Uh, now, I had already gotten Nice is Nice from that and liked it very much. And I went back and I looked at this, and I don't have a lot of luck with nudes, but this nude, this is the first nude nail polish that I think 
looks decent on my skin tone. Um, most of the time, they just look awful on me. Usually they're too dark or they're too warm, but this is a great uh, nude polish for anyone who has either cool toned or fair skin. And that's Saint Tropez. So I was very, very happy to get that. I couldn't wait to put it on today. I had a feeling that it was going to be a good one. And then I got a package of Walmart's premium cotton rounds. These are tough to come by. I think they work a lot better than cotton balls for a lot of different reasons. Um, you don't get that shedding that you get with cotton balls, especially if you get the premium ones. And, you know, they're cheap enough. It's like a dollar and change for a package of these. So I got those. And last but certainly not least, I went to CVS last night because I found out that they were having, you know, their twice a year 50 to 80, 50 to 75% off sale. And I didn't really think I was going to find anything, but I was lucky. But first let me show you what I got that wasn't part of that sale. I got another tube of Essence of Beauty Citrus Coconut Body Lotion. I'm still really loving this, not sick of it yet. And then I looked down, way down at the bottom of the side of the display and saw this, and it's the matching lip butter. Mmm. And <laughs> if you, I'm not, I'm not advocating this, but if you lip your, lick your lips while you're wearing this, it does taste a little bit. <laughs> you can taste the coconut citrus a little bit, but you really shouldn't be eating your lip butter. <laughs> but I couldn't resist because as I'm wearing it, you know, I could smell, like the smell was wafting up to my nose, and I was like, I wonder if it tastes like that. <laughs> so the rest of what I got was part of the sale, and um, I just want to warn you that some of the stores are not putting stickers on everything that is discounted. And you know how at CVS they have a scanner? If you have any doubts in your mind as to whether or not something is part of the sale, you can always just scan it yourself, and that way you won't get to the register and have to sort things out. So, I wish that I had realized that I was going to be going to um, CVS that night because I went to Walgreens during the day and got that Saint Tropez, and I could have got this for 50% off because the whole Essie Spring Collection, all four colors, is 50% off. So I got the other two that I didn't have, which is Coat Azure, which is this um, gorgeous blue, and I got French Affair, which is a really pretty pink. Just perfect, perfect pink. So um, they don't have stickers on them though, but they are in fact 50% off for the French collection. None of the other Essie colors are marked down though because of the new like exchange and all that. I don't know if you guys know Essie was bought out by L'Oreal and that's why you're seeing it. New displays and you're seeing it pop up in every single store that there is. Okay, so the rest of these things I got 75% off. I like the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro formula very much. I only have a couple bottles of that for some reason, but I got it in marine blue, and it's just a really gorgeous, like, turquoise blue color. And from the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure polishes, I got Yellow Kitty, and Lavender Cloud. So these two colors are being discontinued from the permanent line. And then, you know the Sally Hansen HD polishes that I was going crazy over? Well, they had the first wave of those, and then recently a second batch of colors came out. Well, just as I suspected, the first batch of colors is being discontinued. So I got blue. Uh, that's, that's just what it's called, blue. But this is a really gorgeous blue. It's got sort of a hint of purple to it. 
I got light, which is a beautiful, just glowing yellow. I got cyber, which is a beautiful purple. I got digital, which is a pretty pink. I got 3D, which is an orange. And I got pixel pretty, which is a tealy, turquoisey type of blue. And um, that's it. So if you have not participated in CVS's big sale that's going on, of the things that I just showed you from CVS, if I had paid full price, it would have come to $80. Instead, it came to $50. So I saved $30. It w I actually saved 30 something dollars. So that is a huge, huge savings. So that's my haul. And uh, because the video is so long today, I'm going to put the products that I'm wearing in the description box. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.